All right, thanks so much, Alan. Well, Charlie is here from the Glassport Zoo, and he brought with him a ferret. Yes. Tell us all about this ferret. I believe it's in the skunk family. Ka yes, they're in that kind they're of cousins. thing. They're cousins. Yeah, they're cousins. <laughs> they're, that seems. Oh, and by the way, Chip said that it's a it's a donkey. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> not a zebra. Right. That's what he said. He all was right. like, we it have looks a like a resident expert here. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> but anyways, but yes, um, he they are they are in that same family, and if you've ever encountered. Um, a ferret before you'll kind of notice that they do have a little odor to them yes and uh, and that's just a constant thing so you got to learn to love it if you love ferrets and uh, of course you know I brought them because you know people I, even just in the lobby right now you know all the employees everybody had like you know their little uh, they all, all everybody wanted to come and see and say hi to Chip because he, he a, is adorable he, he is he Chip. take a picture of him and and of course they are kind of closely related to weasels mm -hmm. um, these are domestic ferrets so they're not commonly found out in the wild, but people do keep them as pets. Lots and, uh, of people have lots them. Lots of people have them as pets. But you know, one thing that people learn is that you know they get a little, they get into trouble, they <laughs> escape, they steal things, oh, they they steal they, uh, they kind of do what they want, and they kind of you know, I guess kind of like a very hyper dog. Yeah, yeah, and they have very sharp claws. Yeah, and the see. cool thing is like they're so flexible, like they can they can. Just <laughs> move around. That's how they get around all these little tight faces. Yeah, but it doesn't hurt them, right? It doesn't hurt them. Their body is so flexible, and that's in a way because they can physically go into a tunnel, uh -huh. and if they feel like it's blocked, they can just completely turn around and come back. Oh. That's why their 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 body is so flexible. <laughs> He's gonna get away from me. See, you can't even let him go. <laughs> and I know you guys are getting ready for a very busy weekend. Not this weekend, so not tomorrow, but next weekend, the first weekend in August. Believe it or not, it's already going to be August. I can't even believe that. Back to school. I'm kind of happy because my teacher friends already go back to work I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get <laughs> that was a big fun of some of them because i was like oh each days then during the week but anyways aside from yes, that it yes it's kids already appreciation. kids appreciation day back to school so it's a Aww. back to school event that we have it's a really great event we have a lot of partners um this weekend we'll start giving um ticket coupons will get your child in for free um, you can pick that up at any HEB location in Brownsville, any Metro PC, PCS location in Brownsville, and any Tropical Smoothie location in Brownsville. So there's a lot of coupons out there. Start getting them this weekend. I think they should all be out there by Saturday. And um, so you want a deal, you mm -hmm. want to give a thing, and the first thousand kids that come to the event and make a little passport, they get a little goodie bag full of school supplies. Nice. All right. And you can come by and visit Chip. Yes, he'll be there. All right. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks. And we're going to be right back.